we're going to be making bananas pasta. So let's light that grill and get this pan nice and warm. Special thanks to Jim for letting me be part of the collaboration video. I hope you enjoy. It's definitely going to be fun. Keep your eye out for the cinnamon trick. While that's heating up, Camille, let me take you over and we'll cut the bananas up. Alright, we're going to start off with banana number one. Look at that, huh? Nice big banana. Okay. Got to slice off the ends. Try to break the banana too much. Chop it in half. And we're gonna cut it down the long way. Oh. Boom. Boom. There we go. This is gonna be our round one that we're gonna try. Okay, we've got our bananas at the ready. Everything is prepped and ready to go. That's the big secret to this recipe. Be prepared, because it's all going to happen in a flash. Quite literally. If you know my channel. <laughs> Alright. Let's cut, and we'll bring you back when... when we have this fire nice and hot. It'll light. Look at the bottom of the getting hot. Getting hot in here. Look all the birds are coming out to watch. They want to see. Alright guys. We're back. The fire is well underway. Because we're using a pan, we don't really get to wait. So, first things first. We're going to add in one third of a stick of butter. Now, you're going to want to add in the brown sugar when this starts to get almost melted down. Especially working with a wood stove. So we're going to get all this pan nice and buttery. Get this melting down nice. So that way we're not burning sugar into the pan. The J pan. All right. Put it on the milk. Everybody can see how incredibly unlevel everything is. Because all the butter goes to the belly. <laughs> this is the actual tilt. I know I fix it all the time on the on the edits, but you can't you can't fix that. <laughs> the butter's literally going to the back of the pan. All right. Now that that butter's starting to melt, gotta keep things moving. This is why everything's prepped and ready. Here we have light brown sugar with a nice spoonful of molasses. And we're gonna add all that right in with our butter. There we go. That's in. Now we're gonna combine that with this butter. I used about a half a cup of butter. Well, a half a cup of light brown sugar. And we didn't have regular brown sugar, so. I substituted a little bit of molasses in there. Hopefully that don't mess up the recipe too bad. It's already starting to sizzle. This is all gonna happen super fast, okay guys? Once this recipe gets going, there ain't no stopping it. You're ready for the ride. 
gonna mix all that in nice, keep it moving, keep it moving, you're gonna burn it to the pan. That butter melted down, get that sugar incorporated, and it's gonna kinda make like a caramel sauce. Do this. We're gonna add our vanilla extract using a half a teaspoon. Boom, that goes in. Now, look at that, that's nice. This is exactly what we want to start happening. A nice frosty bubbliness. See all that lighter color coming out? All that frosty and goody. <coughs> go. We have entered the banana sposter bubble. Wait to see how I make this. Once you got all that melted down, I'm gonna give that a second. We're switching to slow-mo. All right, guys, we're back in slow mo. Look at that beautiful sauce. Look at that. That coming together. Now we're going to add our bananas. We want to put in the bananas flat side down first. That's going to make a big difference because this is going to allow you to get the edges of the banana all nice and crunchy. banana moonshine at the ready. What could he possibly be doing with banana moonshine? I'm gonna show you. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, these are fairly unripe bananas so we don't gotta worry about them cooking too fast. I don't wanna kinda give them a minute in there. Depend on how ripe your bananas are, depends on how much you gotta shake your butt when you're doing this. That first side is just to coat them up nice. Now we're gonna flip them. This recipe does not take long. Oh yeah, there we go. There we go, nice and caramel coated. Awesome. Look at that. Just spill a little bit on it. That molasses, I don't think it hurt anything putting it in there. We'll come together here. Now it's going to start getting cool. in a half a cup of rum. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. <coughs> that heat up in the pan. Might need a little more fire. This isn't a gas stove. You gotta keep feeding it wood. You guys are ready?
Don't leave that in the beginning of this. <laughs> Man, I don't know where to start, but I'ma just be tearing this apart. Honestly, I see this music is art. I'ma be the one to chart. I'm the new plan of action to get satisfaction out of how I'm mapping. I'm a game plan, I'm a change man, and I know why I'm about to be the one to show one. How I get up on top of a beat now, give a beat down to any MC now. Gonna seek out a new challenger, I want them all to approach me. Honestly, I am the one who's poaching these people in the game like I am the top hunter. I'm about to be the one to go and kill it, I'm a stuncher. Broke as I'm building my empire and I'm chasing my desires, and I'm really gonna be the one to go and spit the fire. And I truly do admire all the people in the game who are trying, but y'all need to make room for Ryan. We got the tops of them sizzling. Look at the way the sauce is actually changing. That's some cool stuff right there. See the edges? See the edges of the bananas getting crispy? Let's go. I've never seen a banana dessert as cool as that, huh? Imagine how cool that's gonna look in slow motion. Probably at this point you've already seen it in slow motion. Check that out. And it's Foster. So beautiful. That's just gonna cook the bananas now. And that sauce is gonna start to burn off and reduce. All that alcohol will burn right out of there. Be left with a nice, yummy, delicious syrup. To pour over the top of our bananas that we have some waffles and some ice cream to go with. So cool. That was a lot of fun. Look at that go. I saw it's coming together cooking those bananas. That's why it's good that I had those thick bananas and they were a little underripe. Look at that sauce. That's too good. Alright, the pie is just about out. I'm gonna pull this from the heat. I'm gonna go set it aside. Tea grove there a little. Alright, let me bring you back over. Alright guys, we're back in 4K. Just made our beautiful banana balls there. Now we're gonna plate it up. Our plate. Our two pieces of waffle. Grab some ice cream. Nice dollop of ice cream in there. A little bit more because ice cream is awesome. How good is that, huh? And this is one batch, so we're going to do.
that nice hot syrupy sauce right there, right on top. That was on molasses spoon, but that's all good. There it is, banana spots there. Huh? Not bad. Let's try a bite. Get a piece of banana. That's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, hurry up before it's gone. Wait a minute, it was facing me. Oh, I don't got enough for storage, never mind. That one try a bite? Yeah. A little piece of waffle so you get the full experience here. What do you think? Here's a little more sauce. It's good. The most tastes apple is kind of. I think that's the bananas. Making that flavor. Oh, this sauce is going to be awesome. I'm just going to go for a giant piece of waffle here. And all that buttery goodness. Here we go. That's fun. Oh. Yeah, let me try. i put a little bit on your next bite. Put a nice little bit of syrup. Let me feed you. Was that a good bite? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yummy, huh? Mm. Too good. All right, thanks everybody. Hope you enjoyed the other videos on the playlist. This is my take on Banana Spotster. Hopefully you guys have fun watching all the other interesting bananas recipes that they have out. Jim, I hope you like the recipe. Check out Jim on his channel, Jim's Catchy Kitchen. And uh, subscribe to him because he is like unbelievably awesome to know and he's unbelievably fun in the kitchen. And I absolutely love his jokes at the end of every one of his episodes. I always get the family with them. So we're going to sit here and smash this. Thank you for watching. That's 508 Outdoor Cooking. Mmm.